create so many revolutionary things on a track. And that's the quality of his production. The guy's a great producer. And this is one of his greatest ballads. International Lover coming in at number five. All right, let's continue to count down. And we're now at number four of the top 10 songs from 1999. Uh, we're in the meat of the order. And number four song from 1999 is Something in the Water Does Not Compute. One of my all time favorite tracks. Man, when I was young, I never listened to this song. I was always skipping it. I didn't understand it, but my brother used to play it all the time. And I was wondering, you know, I said, let me start listening to this song. So I start understanding it. this song right here. When you talking about a, a computer track, uh, uh, a new wave, something in what does not compute is it. That's, that's the whole sound right there, you know, uh, but, is one of his greatest written songs on his album. Uh, and he was basically talking about a, a relationship or all his relationships. You know, there must be something in the water because it's been the same with every girl I had. You know, why would a woman uh, want to treat a man so bad? You know, it can get intense. He, he, he used the B word. So Prince was always he always had that parental guidance you know that sticker but this is prince this is prince at his absolute best well-written song greatly produced track and prince prince got the most historical screams of all time man you can't go wrong with this song Something in the world does not compute one of my all time favorites. And it comes in at number four on the top 10 songs from 1999. All right. Coming in at number three of the top 10 songs from 1999. Yes. Number three is Little Red Corvette. Yes. Um, Little Red Corvette. What can you say? Um, It's an absolute masterpiece. And it's a catchy pop song. Prince, sexual in your windows as I use it again. And the metaphors is crazy. People, a lot of people don't know who this song's about. They got the theory now later on that it was about vanity, but is actually about Mylene. She confirmed it. And most people that knew Prince early on, this is about her. And everything fits about this song. When he talk about the jockeys, I never understood it when I was young, but now Mylene, who went to the University of Minnesota and she hung around the, the jocks. And and that's what he, you know, mentioned that sound, the jockeys that were there before me. So you would see some of the things. When I was growing up, later on, like in my teenage years, I, the, they, the song was said it was about a vagina. Now, that could be true that parts of it was talking about her little red machine. <laughs> he said he was going to tame it. And I think that was, and but confirming it is all about my lane. At that time, you know, she was a beautiful woman and Prince had a lot of beautiful women. And hey, he was just telling us slow down. More of not saying that she was, you know, 
sexually involved in some of these uh, things. He was just you he used so many metaphors in the song. But just basically, hey, yeah, I like this girl, but I I'm mad right now, I'm gonna write a song about it and tell her, you know, she's putting all these people in my face. So I'm gonna tell her to slow down. Uh Little Red Corvette, perfect pop song. It Prince breakout song is his pop, uh, biggest pop hit at the time, going to number six. And this is a breakout, this is his breakout song that put him on the pop path of superstardom. And this was made him a superstar. Little Red Corvette. Coming in at number three. Number two. The top 10 songs from 1999 is the title track, 1999. Wow. Amazing song. It's one of his absolute best. Historically great song. And historically one of the greatest songs of all time. Prince was a pop -lip I hope I got that right. Uh, he was writing so good at this time. I don't think he was at his best, but Prince was like, you know, I'm up there with the big boys. This were Prince would say, I can hang with the best like Stevie Wonder, people like that. And 1999 proved that is a perfect pop song is a, a per perfect critical song, a perfect social song, and it was, it's a perfect dance song. Not charting his best in his first re release, second release, it goes all the way to number 12. But historically, this song is so relevant now. It's amazing. The groove of it. You hear the computerized Lin drum beats. Amazingly, that drum is amazing. This is where you get those Lin drums and really Prince really uh, using that to his, his success. Amazing track. And using Dez and Wendy I mean, I'm sorry, not Wendy, Dez and Lisa really to excel this song. In Little Red Corvette, Dez Dixon played the guitar part brilliantly. One of the best guitar riffs of this album. 1999, Dez uses his voice on this song. Man, iconically, this is why I love his parts. You know, his voice was perfect for that part. Lisa voice was perfect and Jill voice was perfect for that, for that part. And then Prince moves down like Batman. You know, the sky was all purple. <laughs> Man, it, it it's just a perfect intro. You know, so... The amazing song of 1999 is Journey, you know. I got a line in my pocket and baby, he's ready to roar. Prince wrote brilliantly. He should have won a Grammy because this this track was well, well written and it was well produced. One of the best produced tracks on the album. So 1999 coming in at number two of the top 10 songs from the 1999 album. So, all right, without further ado, the number one song from the 1999 album is DMSR, Dance, Music, Sex, Romance. Wow. And this song, I've been listening to this song a lot and I appreciate it so much. This is a brilliant track. This is the core of the Minneapolis sound. 
Dance Music Sex Romance coming in at 8 minutes and 17 seconds. <sighs> when you talk about the Minneapolis song, sound, this is probably the best song from the Minneapolis sound because it's so damn funky. Man, that that synthesized beat coming in of that intro, man. And you just like, you hear it, you know it's Prince. It's just so funky. And listening to this song, I think it was on a movie, um, Risky Business. And when you hear that, you just, wow. You just want to groove. Uh, and Prince voice and Prince lyrics, you know, in in this song, it, it works. It's just so cool. He is so, it makes you say, hey, Prince was a cool guy. You know, you want to hang out and what was going on? The perfect parties tune. Everybody loosen up now. The only one to have some fun. <clears throat> yeah. He, Prince was amazing. Some of the parts I love, you know, I always, like I said, I always love when Prince make his stand. You know, and he say, I don't care to win awards. <laughs> All I want to do is dance. <laughs> the music, sex, romance. Prince, Prince was just amazing. You know, uh, this what made him a master and a legend and a genius. You know, songs like DMSR, you know, you can put in, you can, when he did it later, it's so relevant now. He can just play four minutes of the song. You don't even have to play the whole song, but when you put this on, you, uh, it's automatic groove. And you will go through the eight minutes of the track because it's so damn funky. And I love the ending of the voices, whether it's Jill, Lisa, or Vanity. You know, <laughs> screaming. I love it, you know, but it's a woman letting you know that this was typical 80s. And this was a 80s song to the T, but it's so relevant now. And it's so damn funky. Where Prince got these beats and these grooves, I don't know. But I tell you, the arrangements were out of this world. And so, wrapping it up, that is the number one song from 1999 of the top 10 songs from 1999, DMSR is numero uno. Yes, thank you for joining me this afternoon for the top 10 songs from the 1999 album. This is the Purple Ladder, and we're going to continue on this journey. Now we're getting up to 1984, but I'm going to leave you right now. And I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. And like always, God bless you. And I'll see you in another video. Thank you.